So as I mentioned earlier, one of the applications could be uh, turbocharger wheels, even though this has typically not been an application for Inconel 939. Uh, and one use case that we've had is with a tier one automotive supplier that approached us for building a small turbocharger wheel for an automotive application in 939. Their motivation was, of course, very fast R&D cycles where they could go from the CAD model to a real part very fast. And that's how we realized it. Uh, we did some simulations of the CAD model to see where deformation might occur during the printing process. Then we compensated for that and built some parts for them uh, using the 939 powder and process. And those parts were tested and the performance proved to be quite similar to cost after it was tested on a hot test bench under real world conditions. And as you can see, uh, this is really not a very large part, only 30-ish millimeters in diameter, so an inch and a half. And um, even though they are relatively low hanging parts and very thin parts, the process can build them without supports or really without any extra arrangements. So from that, we can summarize that 939 is interesting, not just for the industries that have used it in the past, but also for new application areas for these high temperature alloys. Thank you, Shafi. So yes, hello everybody. My name is uh, Gregory Vogel and I am the manager of the technology programs at Power Systems Manufacturing or PSM and we are based in Jupiter, Florida in the US. Uh, so, so who is really PSM? Um, we are actually an, an independent global aftermarket service providers for gas turbines that are used in the power plants. We've been in the business for more than uh, 20 years now and we are quite proud to offer products with uh, innovative technologies that uh, enables our customers to, to improve their power plant operation in terms of uh, profitability and also maintenance costs. Uh, we do have our own R&D and service engineering team and, and we've built extensive expertise on many of the gas turbines installed uh, worldwide. Um, we, we're dealing with uh, Siemens gas turbine, GE ones, Mitsubishi, and of course also the Ansaldo Energia gas turbines. We, we are mainly focusing on the large frame gas turbines that, that typically produce power in the range between, let's say 80 to 200 megawatts. And just to bring this into perspective, 200 megawatts is enough to, to power about 200,000 homes, at least in the US, or it's enough to power uh, lights uh, up to about 2 million light bulbs, basically. Uh, the, the type of service that we are providing for these power plants is, is of course, the, the direct service uh, and the maintenance of these gas turbines. We also provide uh, repair of those parts. Um, as well as the, the remote monitoring and diagnostic uh, of the plant uh, operations. But I think the, the most important thing that, that we also do and that really differentiate us from our competitors is that we provide upgrades. Um, you can see on the figure in the center a typical plant. Uh, you can see on the upper right side uh, a typical gas turbine that is actually present in such uh, power plants. And on the bottom figure you, you see a cross section of this uh, gas turbine. And, and uh, the parts that are highlighted in, uh, in greens are actually the ones that we are typically offering as an upgrade for, for the existing gas turbines. And, and we focus on that cross section. Um, you can see uh, on the left side of that cross section, the axial uh, flow compressor. And uh, those gas turbine compressor are typically pushing about 400 to 500 uh, kilograms of, uh, per seconds of air and it gets compressed to, to, uh, to about 15 to 16 bars. And then most of this air goes through the combustion section where there is natural gas fuel, uh, but also more recently uh, hydrogen. And I think that the trend will go even higher in the future. People are trying to burn more and more hydrogen. But this gas is reacting with the air and, and gets heated up. And, and we're talking about temperatures in the range of uh, 1600 degrees Celsius or 2900 degrees Fahrenheit. And then all this hot gas is uh, directed into the axial turbine section that will extract the energy and, and use it to run the generator that will produce the, uh, 
the 200 megawatts of electrical power. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up. And if you'd like to have further information about educational content or your other webinars from EOS, just click the links in the description box below. We hope to see you soon in one of our next videos. Until then, go and subscribe our channel. Bye!